Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful friend. It's us. It's morning magic. It's time to shine, to share, to be together and practice. Um, practice what we know to be true. Practice how it feels to be us. Try on some love. Try on some healing. Try on some kindness. Try on some of the practices. Yeah, it's us. And, and hello. It's us. It's us. It's us. Good morning. Good morning. And happy, sorry, happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. Um, it's a little chilly. We, ha we could have a bonfire last night, which <laughs> I feel kind of bad saying bonfire, you know, these days. Do you have stuff like that because of what's going on? Um, it was nice to sit out by the fire and enjoy some warmth. Yeah. So I hope that you are having a beautiful morning so far, afternoon, for certain individuals in the U of the K. Um, it's been a sweet day here so far, and I'm really excited to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for arriving. Thanks for attending. Thanks for, you know, I, I, I was excited to come and see you today. Yeah. <laughs> this is me like the little kid. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever do this when you were little? Swinging, swaying. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, friends. Let me say hi to you. Hi, Amy. Amy, first one here. Hi, Debbie. Good morning, Debbie. Good afternoon, Mrs. U of the K, Josie. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Carol. Good afternoon. Beautiful lady. How are you? How are the vibes? Hi, Caroline. There we go. Another one across the pond. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope that my signal is strong today. Hi, Christy. Um, yeah, and, and that we're feeling the vibes together. Hi, Summer. Morning, morning, morning. Um, the other day, I forget what happened. I went to go get a piece of paper to show you something. I was telling you a story about how I found that piece of paper on the road in my own handwriting that said miracle on it. And I wanted to show it to you. I said, now I have it here. So I can just do show and tell like that. But um, I found this paper on my walk. It must've been garbage day. I don't know how I threw this away. But the other day I ran to go get it in the kitchen. Were you here? And I ran back and Jeff said, I had no idea what was going on because on the feed you were talking about this one thing and upstairs I could hear you running. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's why the delay. There's a delay and that's why I say now so at the end so I can count. So good morning, good morning, happy Sunday, happy day. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, joy seekers from my bed. Yes, one day I will come from bed too, whatever you call that. I did just come from bed. I'm saying one day I will do it. I think it would be fun to plan a um, a morning snuggle in fest, you know? Yeah, we'll meet in bed. <laughs> this sounds like a fortune cookie in bed. Did you ever do that? <laughs> good morning, good morning. And hi, hi my friends on the replay. Welcome. We've been trying something new. It's probably going to take a little time for us to understand if this is working or not. But when you're seeing these um, replays go by, if you hit the heart, hit the like button and you leave a little comment, if you're interested in making friends here in the Love Posse, if you're here in, um, wanting to connect with other morning magicians just to follow each other and perhaps share a kind word occasionally, um, do that so replay friends can see your name and connect with you because all of this disappears when the video goes up which i love yeah <laughs> good morning good morning good morning high healing therapy 
International. Debbie, hello, good morning. So friends, how's the weather in your heart today? Am I ever gonna cheers you or what? Mm, I'm still deciding what we're doing. I'm not deciding. I'm deciding not to decide actually. I'm just rolling with that. Yeah, you'd happily get back into bed for it this morning. Go take this afternoon, take it with you. Can you take the whole computer with you? Can you take your phone with you and get in bed? Report back if you do it, Josie. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I hope that the day is starting out good um, or the afternoon is continuing to be good for you. I had a sweet morning. I did. I did. So let's have a cheer so I can put this down and um, got a favorite mug here and got a favorite friend right there. I'm looking at you. Are you looking at me? Um, cheers to us. Cheers to this day. Cheers to this love in a wonderful way. Debbie, if you're in Bali, you're up very late, aren't you? Hi. I love my time in Bali so much. Um, Jeff and I talk about going there for half a year, trying it out and seeing. And Carol, you've been to Bali a bunch. Carol helped me a lot um, with things to do and places to go and tips and even helped me find somebody to help get me around. Amazing. So I love Bali so much. Yeah, 10, 15, yeah. I, I have made some recordings while I was there and sometimes at night I play them. The sounds of the frogs and the, the lizards. I had two pet lizards in my room, the big ones. I loved it. They would sing at night. I loved it. Oh, I was like, this is the bomb for me. <laughs> so good. So hello, hello, hello. Carrie says, good morning, love posse. It's a new day, a new day. Yeah. I think sometimes for me, it's important to um, announce that it's a new day. Let's do that. It's a new day. Did anybody bring yesterday with them today? I wonder. Did anyone come with yesterday still attached? <laughs> I wonder. If you're going to, you might hear some noise in the background because number one is going to meet his brother for a social distancing coffee at McDonald's around the corner. His brother, Mark, Mark with the C, thank you. Um, so they're gonna get together, which is sweet. It's nice to figure out how you can see family right now, you know? Yeah, so you may hear some of those noises. Um, Wow, Debbie, yeah. I, I kind of remember that. You've been there due to COVID. Josie says, today feels very new. Hi, Amanda. Hello, love. I, the question was, did you bring yesterday with you today? Or are you saying today is a new day, fresh day, anything I want it to be day? Did you hug yourself this morning? I hugged myself this morning. I had kind of an angsty night. There's some stuff going on. Um, I can't really get into it. It's personal family stuff. And I, I noticed the mama in me gets angsty and I carry things. Going around carrying it. And Jeff said to me this morning, you know, Robin, <laughs> you know, you know, Robin. Yeah. So I went out outside and did my, some of my release. And it felt so good. And then I said, this is a new day. This is a new day. This is a new day. It's a new day, a new moment, a new day, a new moment. You know, I just kept doing it until it started to work its way through. Because there can be a little one in me who's like a wild animal. And she's in there. Um, did anybody ever get a bird in the house? Like the bird flies in and you're trying to get it and it's flying. And it's just really difficult. I can, I can have a part of me that gets like that. I don't, you know, the little bird, she's just freaking out. So, yeah, so it's good to just say, this is a new day. This is a new day. <laughs> yeah, K 
Caroline, I dreamed about Friday work last night, so I woke up with the day before yesterday. Yeah. Hi, Linda. Nice to see you. Good morning, Amanda. So, today. You mean how you got here on the planet, Carol? I want to know more. Carol says, I know it is Sunday. What does that mean, lady? Like we can't talk about heavy on a Sunday? Yes, we can. We're here to talk about the real every day. I don't want to misinterpret what you mean. I had an uncomfortable truth hitting me. Got to drop the story how I got here, even though I know it's important, and be here as who I am now, ready. Amen, my sister. I so celebrate and appreciate you. Fill in a few more things, and it is so important what you're saying. You know, um, the story is very important in some ways. The trauma, the experience. Um, again, I'm not sure what you mean by how I got here. <laughs> um, you know, were you hatched from chickens, or did you come from the aliens, or do you mean... Yeah, you know what I mean. The story is very important in a way. I'm going to talk about this tomorrow on the podcast. Um, so you can honor, why am I like this? Why am I like a caged bird flying all over the place, freaking out? And I can't relax. I think it's good. Some of the story is good for me to know. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know? Yeah, I get it. As a kid, you have to f fly far, far away far, far away and hide sometimes, hide up in the curtains sometimes so nobody could find you, hide under the cover sometimes so nobody could get to you. I had to do that a lot. So I get it when things go on um, that aren't cartwheels and farting rainbows. <laughs> um, that little bird kicks up in me and she just goes wild. She's wild. So um, the story, it helps me to understand and I can keep exhaling, connecting those dots between my childhood and how I respond today. And a little bit, a little bit, I don't want to lie to you. Okay. Cause you know, Jeff's not here to hold me accountable. Stop lying to me. You know how he teases me, but, um, a little bit, I can even feel grateful for whatever's going on today. That's triggering the bird flight again. Um, thank you. One more opportunity to walk with this again, you know. Ah, here's Carol. Hi, Stuart. Here's Carol. All the heavy stories of the past that made me who I am. Amen, my friend. I'm, I just love you. You know, one thing I appreciate about Carol is her, um, your steadfast courage and your willingness to continue to do the hard thing. And I have seen you do things that I know are difficult. And um, even the way you will take the time to reflect important truths back to me about me, a lot of people don't feel courageous, you know, in like, I don't, who am I to tell her things, you know, but you do. And I love that about you. Um, so cause I celebrate that. And you know, may we all, if we're resonating with what's being said here between the two of us, may we all say thank you. May we all say thank you, because how do we advance from those stories? Um, you know, bravado alone won't do it. You know what I mean? You can quote all the pithy memes you want, and it won't help. So thank you. Thank you to... I hear somebody singing going by. Oh, I see a guy and his uh, little girl in the stroller. Cute. Running, singing together. Love it. Oh, yeah. Woo. So good. Thank you so much to all of my roots. Thank you so much to all of my roots. Thank you so much. Thank you for having to dig so deep. And thank you for my wild animal ways. And thank you for the heaviness and the even the ones, Carol, do you get this too? Do you have this? Even the ones that are still not acknowledged. 
by certain people. Thank you for every time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday, I had such a beautiful day of um, every day I do healing sessions. I feel transformed. Where is my Kleenex, people? Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> Got it. Um, every day when I see friends in session or we have classes or healing circle, healing circle, two weeks, the link's in the profile if you want to join me. Please come sign up um, if it's for you, you know, please. I love to have you. I love to be with you. So, anywho, what I was saying was it's a beautiful day of sessions and I felt so altered myself and I think that's really the sign of a beautiful um, connection with friends when the two of you can sit together and really be in that unknown place together and continue to travel back in time, forwards to now, connecting these dots. How does this play out still? How am I still carrying this? And the willingness underwriting the whole thing. I feel like a poet today. The willingness underwriting the whole thing is I am not my fucking story. I am willing to not be just my fucking story. Sorry, I said that. Yeah, I'm not sorry. You know, because the story is, oh my God. You take like five chunky things that happened to you growing up. And you put a label on those, just a two word sentence. You know, like sexually abused. <laughs> Whatever. You put these together. Some of us are just carrying those with us, and that's our identity today. You know? Those of you, you know, in the, yeah, yeah. So you can be like, this is me, you know, bipolar mama, um, you know? And so we need to keep coming together, connecting the dots, and then underneath that willingness, I do not, I do not, because it, do you feel, I mean, I will be so honest, there was a time where I was really wanting, that pit was d deep, and I was really wanting to slide down into that pit and be so identified with the one who was abused, who was, um, you know what I'm saying, you know it because you're living it too. You're working it too. So I don't want attention for that. I want um, to work it. And you're willing to. Yeah, amen, that willingness. Christy says, yes. Um, thank you too. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We're all saying thank you. So think, if you're thinking of your stuff, and sometimes people are like, it's I don't want to go there, Robin. Don't make me do it. <laughs> I did that in my 20s. I did all my, no, we're doing it again because <laughs> it's here again. I'm hearing it. I see it. It's happening. Let's go there. Come on. And and we hold on to her. We find the willing, or him. We find the willingness. And we hold on. And we love. And we practice. Because the work is changing. Because we're changing. So my work is changing too. Um, she's still there. He's still there, sitting there, waiting, wherever you were when it happened. The things, the issues, the heavies, wherever you are, still waiting for your parents to acknowledge what they did. You know, there's a part of us that needs to be retrieved, soul retrieval, right? Thank you, Carol, for bringing this up. Josie says, a couple of big ticket items reported from friends since last night. Much opportunity for practice. The timing is, wow, grateful for the opportunity and holding steady. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And this is why I'm encouraging us to connect with one another as well. Um, and uh, obviously we're connecting with me too, but um, also with each other because there are moments where like, I have somebody in my life who I really love and 
what I appreciate about us is we, and I don't think we've ever really said it, but like, we're not going to get into the entirety of the story, but we're going to show up fierce together with each other. And so I reached out to my friend last night and said, help me, <laughs> help, help, you know, help. Please word with me through this, uh, the Paul Selleck. I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. And I know how I serve in truth. I am free. I am free. I am free. Um, word with me through this. Help me. Because the wild animal is going. She's like all over the place. She wants to run all around the um, backyard. She's still kind of out there too. There's the bird in the house. There's the wild animal out there. Just running laps. You know, some stuff. It just is what it is. Nope, you're not a failure. Nope, you're not doing, you know, your spiritual journey right. All those stories. Nope, no. Some stuff just, it takes as long as it takes to work itself out. And your willingness to not be stuck on, but I'm right. And this person needs to apologize to me. And I need to be validated for my experience. You get stuck there. So, to say the old stories, we can go back and pick her up. We can go back and retrieve her, him. We can bring these parts of us back. We can hold our own hands. We've been talking about this for a few weeks now, and I feel the shift here. Yeah. So beautiful. Hi, Green Adventures for Women. Hi, Amy. Oh, yay, you're here. How'd the week at school go? Carol says, yes, identified with the heavy story and the constant examination. Got to drop it at some point. Yeah. I wonder if it would be helpful for anyone who relates to what we're talking about here to really actually literally see two of you there in the room. Hold on. Sometimes I stand on a pillow, you know, to see... Um, Two of you there, the you of your experience from before and the you of today, the amazing woman or man that you are, the fierce warrior in, the, in some ways, you know, this, I don't, I try not to use terms like that, but that one always makes me feel, yeah, I can do it. Or Jeff says, you know, run toward the danger, the Marines <laughs> run toward the fire. And I always thought he meant fire, but he meant you know what I'm saying. Our podcast, we had a joke about that. 104, I think it was. Um, the two of you together, your little self and your big self, the one with all the knowing, all the help, you have to go there. See how I'm hugging my pillow? I wrote something about my stuffed animal too um, here in the post today. You have to go there. So sometimes it's helpful instead of thinking, I'm thinking about my past self. Um, think about it like a separate person because it is that. I'm going to go hold her hand. I'm going to go love her. I'm going to go be with him. Hi, Ellen. Yeah. Yeah. There's evil in the world. And um, there's a lot of they take a lot of joy at seeing the havoc they can wreak. And it's really important to understand where are we gonna place our hearts? In the now, in the here, and in the truth, in the way. Um, this is exactly the practice. You know, how do I recover from these anti-Semitic statements and racist talk, and how do I recover from um, the abuser never acknowledging that I was abused. You know what I mean? I decide. I decide. So I give myself the space to grieve. I give myself the space to cry. I give myself the space to be held. And if I'm alone, this is why hello to the pillow. Let's, or hello to the monkey. I give myself the things I need. Because is it ridiculous? Um, only if you say that. Don't do it, boo-boo. Don't. I give myself everything I need to get me through because underneath is a willingness 
to not be destroyed by the kooky things done by kooky people. Hurt people hurt people. I will not be a hurt people who continues to hurt people. And it's so interesting, like, the more you go on your journey, you realize, like, if I continue to, even though, you know, we get it, call the racists racists, <laughs> I am still othering. I'm still doing the thing that I say they can't be doing, and I'm still creating that split for me. I'm still believing in a split, and that affects me. Think about that. I got to open the door. Open the window a little bit. Does that, do you, does that make any sense at all? You know, as light workers, I feel very much I need to practice the oneness, you know? That's, that's where I'm at, though. Hi, Jeffy Poo. Are you listening at McDonald's? It says he's here. He's here and he's not here. It's kind of like, you know, that. That's good, Amy. Glad to hear it. Good morning, magicians. Hello to Brother Mark. Mark, are you here? <gasps> and Harley, the dog is here. Hello, Mark. Hello, Harley. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Lexi. Good morning. Lexi, happy birthday again. Lexi's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday again. So, it's, it, you know, it's just so important. Let's pull a card. It's so important sometimes to really sit with, hey, all of how I'm feeling is absolutely fine. Really, really. Let me have my process. Let me have my um, experience. Let me sit with what's going on for me, you know? And then... Um, At some point, I can start to work with the feelings and also with the, like Carol, Carol had said, Earl, I'm going back, Ellen, you got here a little late, so maybe I'm going to not sound like supportive or something, but this goes back to a conversation we were in. Um, at some point, I'm going to say, hey, these stories need to not define me. Sorry, <laughs> just kind of almost flashed you there. I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. These experiences cannot define me. They won't. So, how about we pull a card? <laughs> Happy birthday, yes. Hope you had a nice day yesterday. Boop, boop. Was that it or was that it? Do you guys do this? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Do you read backwards, huh? Let me remember what my purpose is. Let me remember what my purpose is. What's my purpose, people? What's my purpose? Child of God, that's you. That's me. You were created to create the good, the beautiful, and the holy. Do not forget this. That's the code, you know? It's kind of like the pirate code. That's the code for us. So, again, you know, process the feelings. Some, some action, you know, needs to be taken for the feelers. And then remember who you are and remember your practice. Remember who you are and remember your practice. So, would anyone like some specific healing today? Let's do a little healing on this, you know, because we've been talking about the little self, the big self, the past self, the today self. Let me know in the comments if you'd like something specific for yourself today. I'm going to start this healing. Um, and if it's not for you, no worries. Just go like this in front of your face and you won't 
like, you know, have to receive any of my amazing vibes, okay? <laughs> yeah, so. There's such a beautiful child in you who's still there waiting for somebody to take the hand, offer the love, offer the kindness, offer the help. That's you. That's the mama or the papa who you are needs to take the hand of that one and be with yourself in love. It's kind of amazing. Melanie sent me um, a quote from the Tao De Ching this morning. Tao, the number 60, I can't remember it by heart and all my books are in the kitchen. I'm not gonna go run and get them, but um, it talked there about how we, how we deal with the, the evil in the world, you know, just because we just talked about it some. How do we deal with the evil in the world? And it says, I will place my country in the Tao. And that's just like, hey, I know who I am. I remember my purpose. I remember my purpose and I know who I am. I know who I am. I come from God. And if that's woo woo mumbo jumbo to you, then probably you're fucked <laughs> sometimes in the news in the world, right? In your family. So if you keep saying, where do I really belong? I belong in the Tao. I belong in the, the heart of God. I belong, you know what I mean? Then when the forces come, when the world changes, when the COVIDs come, when the, when the you know, awakenings come around um, people of color, Black Lives Matter, when all of these things happen, the elections come. You're good. You know, you feel the ripple, but you know where you belong. Is this making sense? Yeah. <sighs> Melanie, no need to defend. Child of God. Yep. Yep. It's beautiful. So we're talking about Tao 60. If you if you look it up, it's beautiful. There's even a reference to not poking the small fry, the small fish. <laughs> don't worry about it. You know, don't keep poking the small fish. Put your country in the Tao. Put your heart in the Tao. Put your heart in God. Remember who you are, child of God. Remember Marianne Williamson's powerful quote? Your playing small does not serve the world. And sometimes um, we can crumple. Yeah, don't poke the small fish. I love that because I have drawn the small fish so many times <laughs> and the little eyes. I love that we have things like that happen. You know, it's so fun. Um, I forgot what I was saying, but let's remember today, okay? Carol, all these beautiful things came forward because you spoke. So just, I want to say thank you. And thank you to me, because I trust and show up and I don't always have anything. Usually, more and more, I just leave it. Yeah. Hi, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Hi, Valerie. Did I say hi? Yeah. So this healing today, if you just feel into your little self, your beautiful little self. Sending the love, sending the kindness, sending the sweetness. Nowhere to be, nothing to do. Not in trouble. Not lacking. Thank you too, Ellen. No need to identify with being slandered or slurred. I practice this for myself because sometimes I get hate mail. It's very rare. You know, it's very rare. 
so I'm not trying to make a case or anything here. Um, I really try and practice this as well. It's not easy. I get it. This is like why it's, this is kind of like our, um, can you do one pull up? No. Can you hang from the bar? Yeah. This is our practice. One day, maybe we'll do a few more. You know, it's just our, where we're heading. It's important to remember this. Yeah. Thank you too. Thank you all. I just, I love you so much. You inspire me. I love friends that are smart, energetically, intuitively, intellectually. It is so, um, you guys have taught me that it's worth fighting for connection that is meaningful and alive and true. And it's okay to let go of where it's not happening. You, you guys have taught me that same thing. I can do one, I can just hang from the pole, you know, at this point, but I can do it, I can do it. We don't have to identify as the wounded one, as the harmed one. We can know that that happened. We can honor, we can stand witness, we can bear that, you know, but I bow to you. The divine teacher is alive in here. And if we exclusively identify with this one who was harmed, <sighs> membership has its privileges. You know what I'm saying? So I love you. I hope you have the most spectacular day. Receive this healing throughout the day. Hug your little self. Thanks, Summer. You guys are the best. Um, hug your little self, love yourself, and, you know, who can you help today? Who can you buck up sort of today in the same way we're talking about this and finding that under underlying current of willingness, um, even though, who can we help? You inspire me. This conversation is inspiring. Thank you. God bless you. I'm going to ring the bell. I love you too. Ah, I love seeing all these messages here. <laughs> this makes my day. I love you too. I'm going to ring the bell. Thank you. I will. I'm going to really have a Sunday today, even though I have to finish recording the podcast. <laughs> I'm going to really have a Sunday, though. I love the feeling of, it's Sunday. I came in my pajamas, by the way. I should have said, hi, I'm still in my pajamas. That's, that's step one. Oh, thank you. All right. Wait, say now again. Thanks, friends. Love you. God bless my beautiful friend. God bless my beautiful friend. That was my tummy. <laughs> I can't do it without making a joke. I love you. See you in the morning. Have a beautiful one.